Europe's high-rise financial districts have been hit hard by the turmoil sweeping office markets, and it's about to get worse. London's Canary Wharf, Frankfurt's downtown, Paris's La Défense, business districts across Europe are facing massive high-risk investment to avoid becoming ghost towns. Financial businesses and other prime tenants want to make going into the office more desirable, and workers want locations that are near shops and restaurants. That means monocultural, purpose-built business districts with glass and steel towers model on Wall Street are out of favour. Instead, London's posh Mayfair and Paris's 7th arrondissement, shared with the Louvre, are booming. Those areas are more appealing to a broader array of tenants that provide a better mix of work, play and life. That's also driving policymakers to break with decades of stringent planning rules allowing only certain building uses in each area. The City of London, traditionally focused on office space, has added more restaurants and now aims to remake older buildings into hotels. New York is pushing into residential conversions and business districts like London's Canary Wharf have been trying to adapt too. The area now has almost 150 places to eat and drink, five shopping malls, doctor's offices and even a school. One of the area's biggest tenants is HSBC, which is moving its global headquarters to a smaller office space in the City of London. Its existing building is in need of significant upgrades to meet energy efficiency rules and lure new users. But the bigger the building, the higher the cost of modernising. The costs and risks of refitting a massive tower block represent a major investment, even for well-capitalised landlords. The question is whether fixing up old skyscrapers will ever pay off. The owners now face hefty refinancing and upgrade burdens, and without patient capital and local know-how, they could get caught out, especially those that snapped up assets for high prices before the pandemic when money was cheap. The gradual overhaul to make the area more appealing to workers may be too little too late for international investors.